I can't believe I'm holding it in my hands. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today is the day I finally get to share with you guys my finished brush set with Craft Tamo. They are with me in the, the flesh. <laughs> I have been using these brushes or at least the first samples of the brushes for a while now, but this is the first time that I am seeing the box and the finalized colors of everything. The launch date is also officially set. They will be launching on August 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am so happy with how the box art turned out. I painted the painting on the outside of the box and on the inside of the box using the entire set of brushes. I was really stuck for what I wanted to do for the box design, but I landed on doing a portrait because I do a lot of portraits and I think it's just a good representation of how I use the brushes and how I will be using the brushes. So here's the front. I'll definitely include some b-roll so you can see it a little bit better, but everything's matte except for the text of my name which has a sheen to it. And it has a magnetic closure that is just so satisfying. And on the inside of the box, you will receive this little insert. It has the portrait painting on it and some info about myself and the brushes. All of Craft Ammo's brushes are cruelty-free, which I love. And it also inspired me to do this rabbit painting on the inside of the box. Rabbits have a very special place in my heart and hold a lot of personal significance for me, so I really wanted to include that. And then here we have the brushes. They are packed nice and safely in foam and they're also protected by a little brush sleeve. Each brush has my signature logo and the Craft Hamo logo, as well as the size of the brush. I really love how the finished colors turned out. They are exactly as I envisioned them. Craft Hamo did such a good job. I asked for very specific things about the look of the handle and the type of feral that holds the bristles and every detail of them they just they just nailed the set includes seven brushes these are the brush sizes and types that i use the most in my work in fact these are really the only shapes and sizes i ever use in my work they are suitable for gouache acrylics watercolor and even oils though i did design them with gouache and acrylic gouache in mind they have medium length wooden handles with a really nice weight and hand feel. I find that when I work sitting down, I don't really like my brushes to have super long handles. I think the length of these is perfect because you can still hold them further back and get really nice loose brushwork, but they don't feel too long and clunky. And also because of their size, they can fit in any brush roll so you can take them on the go. So the first brush is this beautiful one inch flat brush. I knew this set had to have a one inch flat brush and I really wanted this one to have decently long bristles because I find that a lot of one inch flat brushes don't have the length I want. They have the width but they don't have the length and because of that I finally run out of paint really fast whereas this one holds a really nice amount of paint and water so you don't have to constantly be dipping back in your palette and you'll get beautiful, even, flat brush strokes. I should also say that all of the brushes have medium firm bristles, which I find has the ideal paint holding capacity, especially for gouache, acrylics, and oils. I use a one inch flat brush at the start of my paintings, usually to get a wash down in the background and also to block in major shapes. I love this one so much. Next in your set, there will be a three quarters of an inch flat brush. This is probably the most used brush in the set, maybe next to the three eighths of an inch flat brush, but I don't know. I use this three quarters of an inch flat brush a lot. It's so versatile. If you know my work, you'll know that I take sort of a sculptural approach with my paintings. Flat brushes allow me to carve out the planes in an image, and they're also great when you use the bottom edge to get really nice straight thin lines. I think this is just a really great size. Next we have a half inch flat brush. This is a really great medium size that I use to further break down the planes in a piece. So where I might use the three quarters brush to indicate the large planes of a forehead, 
this half inch can be used to break that larger plane down into its smaller planes. I also found that a lot of half inch and smaller flat brushes weren't as long as I like. The bristles are usually a lot shorter than this and therefore don't hold as much paint as I personally like. I'm telling you guys, I gave them bristle lengths down to the millimeter and they nailed it. I am so happy with these. Next in your set, you'll have this 3 8 of an inch flat brush. I also use this one a ton. It's great for getting really precise, smaller edges in areas of a painting where you might need a little more detail and control. So for example, in a portrait, I'm thinking about around the eyes, maybe the wings of a nostril, the curves in an ear. This one is really great for that. It's also a size I've heard a lot of other artists tend to love, and I love this brush size as well. It's super handy. So those are our four flat brushes in the set. And then we have three round brushes. As you can tell, I don't really use any angled brushes, filberts, or riggers. Not enough that I wanted to include them in this set anyways. For me, those shapes were always filler brushes in a set. And just for how I work, I wanted this set to have only the brushes you need with no fillers or brushes that you find you never really touch. I wanted this set to be a lifelong painting companion that has everything you need and nothing more. For the rounds, we have a 6, a 4, and a 2, my most used sizes. I wanted them to have long enough bristles that they would hold enough paint without being so long that you lose the precision. They all come to a really nice point, perfect for details. The number 6 brush is perfect for the initial sketch of a painting. I usually do this in a burnt sienna or a warmer color, but you'll be able to sketch in your image loosely, but still be able to indicate the finer details because of that nice point. The number four is also great for getting in the tiny, deepest, darkest shadows at the start of a painting. This one might be my favorite round. I just love the shape of it. It's really great for getting hair-like strokes. It just seems to be the perfect length and width, and you can get really lovely line variation with this one. The number two round brush is our smallest brush in the set. It is for those final details on a painting, those teeny tiny highlights. It's not a brush I use a lot during the painting process, but for me it's necessary to finish my pieces. So those are all of the brushes in the set. I love these brushes so much. I love painting with them and I really hope you guys do too. All right, so that is the Emily Hughes and Craft Hamo brush set. As I said earlier, they will be launching on August 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link to the listing is down below. Also, they are going to be on sale for a limited time when they launch, and we've only made a set amount of brushes. So when those are gone, they might be gone. <laughs> so if you really want them, I do recommend signing up for the email notification so you can be guaranteed to get your hands on one before they possibly sell out. I will also be doing a live stream on this channel when they launch. So that will begin at 1.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be painting with the brushes, talking through my process, and chatting with you guys, and just celebrating the launch. So I hope you can join us. I would love to hear what you think about the brushes if you are thinking of purchasing them, or if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will be sure to answer. Thank you to my channel members and my patrons over on Patreon. I will see you all very, very soon with another video. Bye-bye.